This is a letter to my children Tell it to the next generation It's an odd, odd story But half of it has never ever been told Some of those who are older Will remember the days of this struggle From a lowly upbringing Son of a poor preacher From a humble beginning The simple life of a school teacher He left all he had For the love of the people He sacrificed his own soul For a better tomorrow He never gave up the fight Till freedom came to my country He never lost his vision The Most High kept him pulling through From prison to prison In and out of detention Like a road growing out of dry ground Heroes to the core Once and the one nation Is all that he thought about The boy from the admission house Now has become the head cornerstone Look now my people whoa, 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 whoa. Freedom must come We love you, Father of the nation. Respect and honor we give you, oh Father of the nation. Siko mo kambi dia dada, ah dada. Siko mo kambi dia dada, ah taka taka unda. It's been a long road to freedom Look now we are free The struggle is over Africans where we fight and we conquer The end of Amozi The end of Amozi I count at the end In love and unity United we stand and we fight it before One love my people Mm, I'm watching now, Pendo. I'm watching now, Pendo. Oh, Father of the nation, we love you, Father of the nation. Respect and honor we give you, oh, Father of the nation. Siko mo kambi dia dada. Dada, si como cuambiria dada, a taca taca unda, ah ah ah. This is how it all began, my children. Many years will pass before the youngest of you is able to understand what I now say. And no doubt, when that time comes, you wonder what made me address you in this formal way. Take what you like, take it and pay for it. I don't regret exchanging the life of a schoolmaster for that of a politician. I was always on the move, traveling around the country, even popping in and out of girl for the freedom of my country. This indeed is a grand setting for the son of a poor preacher. When you grow up, you will hear and read a lot about Kaunda, what he did and didn't do. And I hope to hear a few good things as well. But now I want to attempt the impossible and use these words to convey the essence of the flame that burns in my mind and the ideas and convictions which fuel it. A flame which must die and be buried with me unless I succeed in passing it on to you. Long live my country. Long live my people.